Sean and Antonio have been fishing with UFC fighters Jim and Dan Miller. First time I get to go ice fishing. I get to come up to Canada and fish one of the best lakes. It's pretty awesome. And they, the guys, Sean and Antonio, they're great. It's been a lot of fun, man. While the guys keep trying to hook a keeper, Chef Antonio shows what he does with the fish after it's been caught. I got something special for all you river anglers out there. Freshwater rainbow trout. I know a lot of you guys are out there on the river. You're fly fishing, you're center pin fishing, you're casting, you're doing this. Well, I'm gonna show you something to do with this fish here. This is how easy this dish is. We went right down the belly, pulled out everything in there, and we just left it kind of filleted open like this, head on, tail on. But we're actually gonna grill this whole. We've got some nice lemon wedges here that we cut nice and thin. We're just gonna line these on the bottom of the fish here. So we're gonna use the whole spring of dill here. And don't be shy with this. You wanna stuff her up nice. The more the better. And then what you wanna do again is get some more lemons and just put them right on top. And it's as simple as this, guys. Before it hits the grill, you need to lube this up so it doesn't stick. You can use whatever oil you like at home. Avocado oil goes really, really nice with the watercress salad. Once that hits the grill, we're gonna lube the other side up. We gotta season it up. We got some kosher salt here. Make sure you're pretty generous with this kosher salt. And all we really wanna do is mark this fish off. You kinda wanna crisp that skin, get some nice grill marks for presentation, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Let's take this over to the grill. Right in the middle of the grill. Now that that side is down, we're gonna lube this up. You're gonna get a little bit of a flame, but again, that's gonna help it. I'm not sticking to the grill. Be generous with your kosher salt. We're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it like so. And you can see you got some really nice grill marks. Those, that's gonna be for your presentation. It's only gonna take a few minutes per side. We're gonna put it in a nice platter. We're gonna stick it in the oven, eight to 10 minutes, and we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna garnish it up. I think it's ready to hit the oven. While that trout is in the oven, we have some butter, we have some slivered almonds. We're gonna brown the butter, we're gonna toast the almonds off. This is gonna be the final garnish for this dish. It's gonna be unbelievable. Okay guys, we're gonna prepare the finishing touches to this dish, I'm really excited about this. We have some beautiful, really nice watercress, fennel, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, blood orange, and ruby red grapefruit, one of my favorite things here. We're gonna pop everything in like so. We're just gonna make a basic Dressing here, we got your rice wine vinegar. Just gonna wanna kinda lightly season it there. Avocado oil, avocado oil goes really, really nice with this. Not too much, got some kosher salt. Don't be shy with your salt. We're gonna just sprinkle some fresh lemon juice on there. Very light. The citrus goes really nice with the fish as well. You're gonna use this whole lemon, you want it to be nice and citrusy. It looks like our fish is almost ready. I'm just gonna lightly kinda toss the salad with my hands. If you use tongs, when you're mixing that watercress, you can really, really rip it apart. So just kind of gently with your hands, give it a taste. It's almost perfect, a little bit more salt. Now that's ready for our fish. Our fish has been in for about eight to 10 minutes now at 350. We're gonna pull it out, we're gonna plate it. We're gonna blow people away, all you river anglers, get ready, because it's coming out of the oven right now. Beautiful color. And now one thing you know when this fish is ready guys, when the eyeballs are nice and white, when it looked like I had a few too many smokes, that's how you know that this fish is ready to go. Because you want to be gentle with this fish, you don't want the skin to come off because you want that presentation to really stand out. You can literally grab your fork and start pulling this fish apart. And it's really cool when you get a couple of these and you do them all for your family. You're going to grab a handful of this stuff and you're just going to kind of place it gently around your fish. Now, visually this looks amazing but we're not done yet. It's gotta taste good too. So we're gonna cut up this fresh lemon here. So we're gonna garnish and sprinkle some fresh lemon juice on top of this beautiful rainbow trout like so. We get a little bit of avocado oil. Just kind of drizzle that avocado oil on top. Shine this guy up. We want him to look pretty for the prom. Last but not least, my favorite part, your toasted almonds. Literally just drop this right on top. This is all you need guys. Bring this to the table. You're gonna blow everyone away. This is what I can do with the fish. Let's see what those guys can do with their fish. Antonio can turn any fish into a restaurant quality entree, but soon it will be the Miller brothers' turn to show what they can do in the kitchen. The guys will be cooking soon enough, but right now the fishing is too good to be headed back to the hut. I literally dropped it in. I didn't even get to do anything. I didn't get to jig it or anything. The fellas have been catching fish left and right. But when the fish are biting, you need to keep a close eye on your rods, because if you're not careful, they can disappear down the hole in a flash. Beauty. Oh! 
Oh, shoot. Get it, get it, get it. It's a bird. Is that it? It's a plane. Yeah, there you go. It's Jim Miller. With a last second slide, Jim saved Sean's rod from going under. You saved my rod there, Jimmy. <laughs> and he caught a fish at the same time. You don't have to be very big to take a rod down, eh? After that close call, the guys would make sure to keep a closer eye on the rods, which is a good thing because the fish were definitely still biting. There he is. Oh, yeah, how's it go? That's a good one. Oh, that's the game, folks. It's almost like a blue pickerel there. Yeah, decent looking fish. Oh, yeah, beauty. The other guys may have caught a lot of fish, but Antonio definitely had the most unique catch of the day. And guess what I got, boys? <laughs> I don't know if this one's good enough for the cooking competition, but uh, we're gonna let this go. Uh, she's not quite the size we're looking for, so uh, get that back down the hole and we'll try to get them again. <laughs> Overall, I think we caught over 50 fish in a couple hours. And, and got some real nice ones, so. Coming up, the fellows have caught their fish, so now it's time to see who's the best chef in the family and who made Antonio say. If I was a customer at a restaurant and I had that, that's going back to the kitchen. Thanks for checking out Celebrity Fish and Fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you like what you see and you want to see more, click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. We got some really, really cool stuff this season. A lot more to come. Also, we'll be dropping new episodes twice a week, um, along with some fishing tips, cool cooking tips from myself. Whether I'm on set, I'm at home, I'm in the kitchen, anywhere, live from the shore, we're gonna cook something up special and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Stay tuned, we'll see you next time. Celebrity Fish and Fire.